guys, Danielle back here with Danielle's Homemade Products. This guy is helping me out today. Um, before we begin, again, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Today we're trying our hand at some dry dog food. Yes, I did say that. Um, Sky is actually mixing up the eggs for us right now so we can get them in the bowl, but it's four medium eggs. If you've got large eggs, use three of them. This is a recipe I found already on YouTube. I just did a little bit of tweaking on on what I've got. eggs, probably use five. Oh yeah, but I don't. most people don't buy small eggs. Then I've got um, six cups of all-purpose flour. Um, you may need up to seven depending on how she's such a weirdo how moist it is around you here you can add the water and the oil to that as well i've got a, a cup of okay i drink this i'm really thirsty no i've got a cup of powdered milk i did go ahead and tweak in and add a couple of heaping teaspoons of ground flaxseed it's good for omega threes yes i've got two and a half cups of water and a third of a cup of oil which she just added to the eggs in a separate bowl which i'll be putting in here shortly and then you can add in an additional cup and a half of some other food source whether that's vegetables whether it's fruits um, that are safe for your dog of course we're using peanut butter today it's a good source of protein and I, have, loves peanut butter. and I have an excess of it from when we did some peanut butter balls at christmas time so you know that it's no, it's not. It's it's recording the bowl. Okay, so you got that mixed all together. Okay. Looks like it. Sorry, guys. I know you can't see this, but the the <coughs> here. So she's added in. She's whisked in the four eggs, the water, and the oil together. I'm gonna add this into my stand mixer. And what else? do you want to add the peanut butter for me? Where There's a spoon right there. We're gonna add in the one and a half cups of peanut butter. Don't drop the bowl in there, okay? I will try. Uh -huh. Okay, get closer down so that it doesn't splash. <laughs> and you're getting it all over here, so stop. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> Um, in case you didn't catch that, she dumped it in and it splashed back into her face. It's evil. Which, I'm sorry, as a, as a parent, is, is <coughs> comical. Because I did just tell her to get it closer so that it didn't splash. Oh, I want to show you my dog. She's gotten peanut butter all over the place. So let's just get and scrape all of this out so it goes into the dog food. I want to show a puppy. Hold on. Camera, you, you never stare at the camera. Like, okay, I did a video on her and she, I was like, I have to keep. And this is Lily, this is Nana's dog. We're gonna have her my test puppy. out the dog food. She's my puppy now. Okay, back up. We're gonna have her test out the dog food once it's ready. She is a very picky eater, so it'll be a good test to see if she'll eat it or not. Okay. And Okay. We've got friends that have dogs as well, so we'll be we'll be sending some Harley, to them if Harley and her are way different. Yes, Harley is our old dog. He passed away a couple of months ago, so mm. it's it's still hard for Sky. So I'm gonna mix this together and try not to splash. <laughs> like that's not gonna happen. Yeah, we're gonna switch to the whisk first. Just trying to dirty as less items as we could, <laughs> but it's not not cooperating much. So we're gonna switch over to the whisk. And get this whisked in. <laughs> that six splashes more. Try not to get it all over the kitchen. <laughs> You're even more bad at this than I am. Can I mix this up? No, it doesn't need to be. And I will switch back over to my paddle as soon as I've got things. Can you, you, you gotta give me a bit of space here, kiddo. Where do I put this? Just leave that. You can dump that into the pot and the, the dry stuff. Oh. It's snowy. It's snowy. If I was smart, I would have put that into the bowl before I poured it into my mixer. But hey, you live and you learn. Learn from my mistake. So now I've got the six cups of 
flour, the cup of powdered milk, and the flax seed all right here. Yeah. Where are you? And I'm going to start adding it slowly. And I just got my flax, ground flax seed from the pharmacy area at Walmart. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to find. And I'm going to learn my own lesson and I'm going to start this out slow. This guy ditched me apparently. She went to go harass the dog. And this is gonna end up being a um, pretty moist but solid dough because you're gonna roll it out into a rope and then cut it into pieces and dry it out on the dehydrator, which I have sitting over here on the counter. And I do still have my flour out just in case I need to add a little bit extra uh, because the recipe did call for up to seven cups of flour depending on the moisture and the air and the kitchen. Do it. Well, you ditched me already. Hold on, you can add the last of it. Let me <gasps> let me finish this adding this in, and you can add the last in. Sky, please listen. <laughs> it's flashy. <coughs> okay, do you want to add the last of that? Ooh! <coughs> it's he made this for Harley. Harley can't eat it in heaven. Just go ahead and use the bowl to dump it in. I don't want to. Oh, she wants to make a mess. Wait, 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 wait. There is a spout. You did it, you did the spout. There you go. Okay. It is definitely not the cleanest mess. Not at all. At all. Okay. Got a photo bomb, you guys. <laughs> All right, back off. Don't make me tell you multiple times. It's funny, though. All right. Dough hasn't quite pulled all off of the sides, so I think I may add just a little bit more flour. Yeah, still very sticky <laughs> and heavy because it doesn't want to, my stand mixer doesn't want to stay up. So I'm going to add just a little bit more flour. Probably not a whole lot. Sorry for the arm shot. Probably would have been smarter to use my dough hook. Doesn't seem to be taking in as much flour, so I think I will just knead it in. So I'll get you back here in a second as soon as I get this out of the bowl and onto the counter to work. All the dough out. I did flour my counter pretty well. It's really not as sticky as I thought it was going to be. It's, yes, very moist, but it's not sticking to me, which is a good thing. And I'm just going to knead it. I hope I don't kill my hands. This is a lot of dough. I get problems with, um, it diagnosed me with fibromyalgia, uh, and my hands tend to swell up uh, and look like big old knots along, you know, I'd say this is a little puffy right now, but not normally it can get bigger than this, but you can kind of see it's a little on the puffy side, but nothing that I can't work through. But when it gets really bad, it's hard to hold anything. Actually, very silky smooth though. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. into pieces that are a little bit easier to handle and then I'll roll it out into ropes and cut the rope into individual pieces. Now friends of mine have some bigger dogs so I'm not going to do these super super tiny um, but Lily is kind of a small dog and one of my other friends um, has a, a dog about the same size as Lily so I'll do some a little bit bigger and some a little bit smaller. I mean, this is supposed to be food. I mean, you can use it as a treat too, I'd imagine, but. This is where Play-Doh skills will come in handy. Remember from those Play-Doh days when you were kids making a rope? Yeah. Nana's answering me because she's not realizing that I'm recording. But it's still funny. Cold. You're cold? Mm -hmm. Nana's always cold. I think I have a little bit too much flour in this one because it's not wanting to roll. But you know that's okay. We can just cut it into pieces, and that'll work just fine too. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of the trays out of my dehydrator. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Apparently, my Play-Doh skills suck because I cannot get this baby to roll into. Ah, now see, I spoke too soon. Couldn't get it to roll. So I was thinking my Play-Doh skills were his own. Been a little long time since I played with it. So I'm just gonna try to, I want these in smaller pieces, but this dough is not really cooperating too much. So I'm just gonna cut it in smaller pieces. Be careful not to count Back the counter. Let me go grab a cutting board. not want to make Nana's new counters. So I'm just going to cut some of these big ones into smaller pieces because these can be used as treats too. And I've got my dehydrator tray right over here and I'm just going to spread that out. I'm getting impatient is what it is. And I don't have the patience to sit here and play with all this dough. When I'm sure there's other things that I want to get done too. So I will just make it work. My dehydrator has 10 trays in it. It's not a fancy Excalibur. I think it's a Weston, but it works really well. And I enjoy it. Oops, those are two pieces together. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to cut dough until I've got trays filled and I'll come back once I've got trays filled. Okay, so I'm back. I've got all of the dough cut. Still gotta clean up my mess. But I've got all the dough cut up and on the dehydrated trays, I've already got the dehydrator running. I uh, made about five trays, but I did make my pieces a little bit bigger so they can be used as like treats as well if needed or wanted to. So um, I've cut them all roughly about this size. Some of them are smaller. As you can see, like this one here, and the majority of them are about this size, though. So if I had cut them smaller, I would have gotten more, more trays. But I've got a total of five trays. This is the fifth, and I've got them going in the dehydrator. I did notice that sometimes the dough is kind of coming out the bottom of it. So I probably I should have... That. Okay, Missy. So I probably should have added more flour to it, but I will check them in about eight hours and flip them if need be. So... My messy bowl. So I'm going to get this one into the dehydrator, clean up my mess, and I will bring you back tomorrow 
once these have Tomorrow. had some time to dry out. Yes, they've got to dry out for anywhere from 16 to 24 hours. Guys, take y'all back. Um, it's been about eight hours now and our little dog food pieces are starting to get dry. They are probably about halfway done. I'm gonna go through and try and flip some of them, but they definitely still need more time on the dehydrator. So they're not crunchy. They're starting to get a, a crunchiness to them, but it's more just on the outside. The interior is still really soft. So these guys will be going at least for the rest of the night. Hi guys. <coughs> this guy is not feeling good today. So like I said, I'm gonna go through and try and flip some of them. I just feel like little nuggets. I mean, they're not. They're greasy. Yeah, they have oil from the peanut butter and there's oil in it. So I'm just going to go through and flip them and I'm going to keep this going. They need at least another eight hours, so I'll check them again in the morning. So, well, so it is morning now. It's about almost 11. Come on, Trey. And these guys are still a little soft on the inside. I made the pieces kind of big, so... They're still going to need to dehydrate for longer. Some of them are hard. But some of the bigger pieces still need longer to go. So, there you go. It's just a matter of continuing to allow them to dry so the center isn't soft anymore. Again, I'll probably use these as treats. But there you go. I don't know if I'm going to try and see if Lily will eat one. She's picky. Lily! Hey, Lily, you want to try it? Hey, hey, stay here. She likes to take food in the other room to eat it. You going to try it? Come here. It's right here. You dropped it on the floor. Here, how about this? I'll put it by you and then I'll move. Well, she is picky and she won't eat if you're in the same room as her. So she's being a little stubborn, but we'll see if she eats it in a little bit. All right, guys, be back later.